in this video I am going to show you how to do the unboxing and complete setup of Canon Pixima G3270 all-in-one printer this is a wireless printer it can do the copy print and scan this is a mega ink tank printer like it has big ink tank you can print 6000 black pages and 7700 color pages with this printer it can print 11 black pages per minute or 6 color pages per minute let's start with the unboxing this printer comes with the 4 ink bottles black and color ink bottles ink is 21 in this box you get the manual there are two print heads and a power cable these are the two print heads so we can just lift this bag remove the protective tape to start the setup process we have to connect this printer with the power cable plug in the power cable here now lift this side tape switch on the printer press power button now the first step is to go to the printer display panel it will ask you to select the language select your language confirm it select auto updates next step is to install the print head and the ink in the ink tank for that we have to lift this section automatically it will move and come into the middle here we have to install the print head take the print heads out of plastic packaging you have to remove the seal from the back also you have to remove this same with the black print head remove the seal and remove the top seal to install it we have to lift the blue button that is just below the black so once you lift it it will open itself place black print head on the side B once you place it there automatically it will slide and go into the position and now you just have to press it down to close it so once you hear a lock sound that means it is installed properly next step is to install the ink so you can start with any ink bottle place it here facing down so yellow ink is filled in take the bottle out go for the next close it next is magenta and just place it here take it out lift it up and the black is on this side so we can also place black that will save time take the bottle out take it out close it lift lift the door little bit up and then let it go down it will close itself and will go to the printer display panel press ok button it will take around 6 minutes for the initial setup of the ink tanks once you see the main screen then we have to do the wireless setup 
now you can scroll down and look for the setting select LAN setting click on the Wi-Fi select Wi-Fi setup click on the manual connect it will search for the wireless router select your Wi-Fi and enter your Wi-Fi password click next select use one router only or you can select more and press ok select one MAC address and click next to enter the password we have to use this keypad we can go down and select if you want uppercase lowercase like that for uppercase we can click this arrow button and then we can select any alphabet for numbers again go down and select the numbers press ok to apply the password printer is connected to the router press ok and then click on the home button you will see the wireless signal on the top of the screen next step is to add this printer in a device for wireless printing and scanning you can add this printer in your smartphone macbook or laptop let's add in a smartphone to use with the smartphone you have to download the canon print app you can download it from the app store open this app in the app click on the printer icon click on the add switch register printer select Canon G3070 series printer is installed you can just cancel and close this window you will see your printer and you can start using it for wireless printing and scanning from here place it here select any document click on the next and press ok you can select printing if you want to change any setting you can change from here and then we can just go back and click on the print icon paper output tray is here Let's do the scanning. Printing is complete. We can lift this top part and then we can place a page for the scanning. Go to the app. Go to the main screen again. Click on the scan icon. If you want to make any changes you can go to the change setting select if you want to save it as a JPEG or PDF go back and click on the scan icon scanning is done and we can see the scan is available
if you want you can just click on the exit or you can add more page and then click on the scan again so this will save it as a single PDF file for all the pages now go to main screen let's do the copy for the copy you have to place the page here now go to the home button and then press ok on the copy select if you want black or color and then press ok again print quality is great so that's the complete setup of the printer thanks for watching